Dear Target Shopper, I'm profoundly sorry that I didn't know whether your BlackBerry phone was compatible with the Bluetooth headset that you were interested in purchasing. Well, I tried. I really did. But, well, in my defense, there were three other people around the electronics counter who were all looking at me like I was the biggest, most incompetent asshole in the world for helping you instead of them. And the phone was ringing, and my walkie-talkie was going off. The automated voice was telling me, Fast service needed an iPods. First request, 60 seconds remaining. And if the 60 seconds run out, well, my 20 cent annual raise gets reduced. I'm sorry I didn't know the answer to your question, but, well, if you come to Target expecting minimum wage prices, so it's not unreasonable to expect minimum wage e expertise. <laughs> I mean, after all, if I had any sort of specialized degree instead of the generic BA that I have, well, I wouldn't be working at Target for seven seventy-five an hour. <laughs> you know, most of the time I, I try not to think about how a junior in college or a junior in high school could do the job that I'm doing, and, or about how a junior in high school is doing the job that I'm doing. Usually, I'm not bothered that the only thing that makes me a good employee is that I tuck in my shirt and I don't steal things. <laughs> So when my walkie-talkie went off for a second time, and well, the automated voice yelled at me, saying, Fast service needed an iPods at second request, 15 seconds remaining, and I interrupted your question yet again so that I could call for some additional assistance, well, I was honestly doing my best to try and serve you and all the people standing around us. So when you said to me, do they usually schedule you in this department? With that condescending scowl on your face? Well, I tried my best to take your comment in stride because I could see that you were very frustrated and, well, I really didn't blame you. But when you said to me, you should tell them not to schedule you here anymore. Well, my walkie-talkie went off again. I raised my arm extended my pointer finger, and touched you gently in between your eyebrows. <laughs> Looking at the blank expression on your face, I, I couldn't tell you what I was trying to accomplish. I mean, I can tell you that it sucks to be told you're bad at your job, or how humiliating it is to appear incompetent in front of a large group of people. Or I could even tell you that uh, you were deliberately trying to be hurtful, and even after working here for two years, I still find that disturbing. But all of that is possible. And it's possible still that by touching you, I tried to make certain that I was still the person that I was and that someone behaving indecently towards me had not become routine endurance and that I had not become automated. But the truth is, when my walkie-talkie went off for a third time and the automated voice screamed at me, saying, request needed in iPods, third request, situation is thrown out. A switch flipped inside of me. <laughs> and I hoped that I could simply turn you off at the <laughs> iPod call box so that I could hear you say the words, the request has been cleared. Thank you. <laughs> of course, that's not what you said. <laughs> so, on behalf of Target, I would like to apologize for my inhumanity. 